Layla has driven Farad to the edge. The battle is almost over, but even Farad cannot bring himself to destroy Tilda. And now Layla has been stung by wings and is close to death. The only thing that can save her is Farad's love. Farad! Farad. Oh, everyone. I don't want Layla to die because I'm in love with her. Maybe I just never realized it before, but I can't deny what's in my heart. I don't believe uh, it! Tilda! Huh? I know it's a shock. Hmm. Tilda, wait! Tilda, where are you going? <laughs> you heartless traitor! You miserable soul-destroying amoeba! Turn your back on us! If I were bigger, I'd put you over my knee! Wings, my teacher! My friend! I am neither your friend nor your teacher! You are unworthy to be one of my students! You're not the boy I practically raised! There isn't even a word to describe what you are! I regret our adventures together! I regret the struggles, the victories, the defeats! It's all been a waste! Wings, the road that I choose now is the road that all of our adventures has led me to! It is my destiny! Don't talk to me about destiny! You've squandered it all! You don't have a destiny anymore! You've chosen wickedness over righteousness! And for that, you'll get the misery you so rightly deserve! And to think I invested so much in someone so stupid! I once made a decision like the one you're making now, and all it did was bring misery to myself and everyone else. You betrayed all of us! Farewell, Ferrat. Let's get out of here. Come along, Ben. Let me try to explain it to you. I have always respected the wisdom behind your decisions, but to ask me to accept this is too much. I'm sorry. I just can't this time. Are you doing the right thing? I've been resisting this moment for too long. Loving Layla is against my principles, but I've been fighting a losing battle. A battle with my heart. If you disapprove of my decision, you are free to go in peace, brother. Brother, where you go, I go. Oh, there she is! Uh? Come on! No, Farad, no! <laughs> Don't worry, I'll whip us up some super calorilla. Huh? Why do you look so defeated? There's just been a little change of plan, that's all. As long as we still have Tilda on our side, we can win this war against Farrat and his witch of a girlfriend. Let me go back out there. I'd rather stay frozen forever than live in this hopeless world. No! You'll stay here and keep warm. How do we fight him? Wasn't he our friend? And he still is our friend, but now it's our sworn duty to rescue him from the clutches of this great evil. Yes, but what if he doesn't want to be rescued? Then he definitely is a traitor to the cause, and should be judged swiftly and harshly according to Bedouin law. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are more pressing concerns at the moment. I propose that we carry on just like before. Uh, we'll just regroup and think before we counterattack. I agree. If there's even a slim chance that we can save Farat, then it's a chance worth taking. That settles it. We'll continue on to the Great Desert. The journey should take no less than seven days. 
And Farrat in the meantime? He's spending time with that manipulative infernal witch, isn't he? As far as I'm concerned, he's already being punished. Mine, mine, mine! I can't believe it! He's finally mine! Mine! Mwah! My prince, my love, my destiny! Mine, mine, mine! I've always dreamed of this Farrat, what mine, are we supposed mine, to do mine, next? Mine, mine, Shh! Huh? Just keep your voice down. We have to humor her. I'll need your help, Shadow. Is there a conspiracy over there? Should I have a reason to worry? Of course not, my darling. Shadow is just confused about my sudden change of heart. Huh? Do you oppose our love? Is that it? Ah. Shadow is just overwhelmed by it all. To tell you the truth, so am I. I've never felt so complete as a man till this moment. Yes, my love, it's destiny, and I've been waiting patiently for you for so long. For the first time in my life, I know true happiness. Oh, I feel like celebrating, but there will be time for that later. We have so much more work to do. I want to take you to the place where I grew up. I want you to know everything there is to know about me. I'm not some kind of witch. I'm just a simple girl who loves you, Farad. You can trust me. And I do trust you, Layla. Ah, you great big desert sky. What a pleasure to roast under you again. This is positively the perfect spot to re-energize. If it's all the same to you, I'm gonna get out from under the hot sun and get some ah, shade. the old workshop of my teacher. Oh, the fun we used to get up to in that building. Although it looks like it could use a little renovating. Yes, I see. But after eight centuries and countless battles, I wouldn't expect it to be on the cover of a magazine. We can set up home base in the ancient library. It must hold a million secrets. Everything from forgotten recipes to the complete annotated history of alchemy. <laughs> The library's in ruins. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, but at least some of the books are intact. What do we have here? I guess this one's going to be hard to read. Hmm. Oh, I'm afraid whatever secrets were in these books will have to stay uh -huh. secret now. Oh. Uh. Uh. Red hot sands, there's not a single thing left that we can use. At least the ancient knowledge in your head is still intact. Yes, but I've already used every potion in my arsenal against that witch. I was hoping I could find a little inspiration here. Great professor, what should I do? How come I'm not cold? It's the power of the darkness. Now that you're with us, you'll enjoy the benefits of its energy. And when we finally merge the light and darkness together, then you'll see some real power. Right, then the sparks will really be flying. Exactly. We're almost there. Tilda, welcome to the island of Kugananza. Okay, let's put up the tents. Here we go. Time to set up the job. There it is. Here's a good spot. I'm going over here. Right here, right here. Yes. Thank you, cousins, for agreeing to meet with us. We don't know what we do without you. We always help our cousins. Hmm. Yes? But she's not a member of our family. I know, but she's a very good friend of mine, and she's not feeling well, so I couldn't abandon her. Sorry, but she looks just fine to us. I don't mean medically ill. Um, Tilda's suffering from a peculiar malady that can best be described as a broken heart. Can you believe this? It's like some sort of dating service. He's acting so Don't weird. Don't worry, hmm? I didn't come here to be insulted, so you can have your precious hmm? island all to hmm? yourself. Don't be so quick to judge us, young lady. We're normally very hospitable. It's just that a Kujananza family get-together is usually a very private affair. But why do you need our help, Ben? You haven't explained your reasons for summoning us. 
The prince I serve had suppressed the darkness inside of him for years, but now that malevolent spirit has awakened and he has surrendered to it. Didn't you face something like this once before? Yeah, but not like this, huh? This is much worse. This isn't just a random fight against a demon. This is a fight against a powerful, evil energy commanded by a ruthless young girl without any conscience. A witch that wants to bring together the forces of light and darkness. So unfortunately, you got dumped for her. <laughs> she should just put an ad in the personals. Listen to me, cousins, please. If this witch unites with Farad, she'll need a new boyfriend. <laughs> Forget them, then. They're useless. <laughs> Just get out and meet people. Anybody here single? <laughs> get them, Ben. They're useless. No, I've got another reason for coming. I need you to hand over the mythical harpoon of my great-great-grandfather, Ben Adam. The, the mythical, mythical harpoon? harpoon? Can you really? really be serious? Huh? He's, He's crazy. crazy. How, How can you think we'll ever give up the mythical, mythical harpoon? harpoon? I will invoke the challenge of 100 sales. If I win the race, by law, you'll have to give me the harpoon. The challenge of 100 sales, he'll never win it. No one ever has. <laughs> <laughs> Our elderly cousin is right. Legend has it that the challenge is unwinnable. We'll see about that. Tilda here and I are going to team up to huh? beat the challenge. And exactly what kind of challenge are we talking about? Don't you worry about that. I've got every little thing under control. Huh? What are you up to? Over here, sweetheart. Take a look at this. I brought you to a place that was special to me as a child. This is where I would come to escape my miserable childhood. It was here that I first felt the stirrings of the darkness. Strength of the darkness, the power of the Namarash practically raised me. As a little girl, the darkness was my companion, and it opened my mind and taught me so much about the mysteries of the universe. so wise so suddenly that I began giving lessons to my school teachers and within a few years I was sent away to Moscow on a scholarship and by age 16 I had earned five degrees. Obviously the Black Scorpion chose you. Just as the Scorpion of Light has chosen you my prince. I trust you understand that our destinies are forever intertwined. <sighs> then let's not hesitate and finish the mission. No there's still time. The mission will have to wait. I just want to hold you and be close to you and make this moment last as long as I can. You are all that matters. No! Useless! Ruined! A travesty! Ah, oh, that looked interesting, but without the proper text, what could I do with it? Oh, this is a disaster! Hey, look! I found a magic sword! Oh! oh. Hmm. I have a feeling that I'm forgetting something, but what on earth could it be? A distant memory, perhaps, from long ago? A very long time ago. Professor Aladdin, if one day I ever come across an unbeatable enemy, what should I do? In that case, and only in that case, you must resort to the mother of mm -hmm. all potions. How do I make it? You won't have to. I developed it many years ago and hid it inside the Black Rock of Quaffer. I've never heard of such a place. How will I know when I found Quaffer? You will find it when the time is meant for you to find it, and no sooner. Hmm. Now I remember its name. It's Quaffer, but where is it? Oh, you want pistachios? What do you mean, pistachios? Oh, forget it. I just thought you might be interested in getting some. Where are they? Well, you just mentioned it. You said Quaffer. 
Do you know where this place is? Sure, it's a town buried deep in the African jungle. I went there drilling for oil once, but all we found were lots of pistachios. Rashid, you're a lifesaver. The best palace scorpion ever had. I can't thank you uh -huh. enough. Let me give you a big hug. <gasps> oh, I'm fond of you too, my friend, but mind that tail of yours. Mine, mine, mine. You're all I ever really wanted, and now you're mine. <laughs> you're making me blush, my darling. <laughs> really? Oh. Huh? Yes, and I'll never stop. I love you so much, so much. Promise me you'll never leave me. Layla, maybe you... No. I trust you with all my heart and soul. Farat, are you ready? Uh, ready for what exactly? Ready to complete the mission, which is the next step in our relationship. Hmm. Come with me. So we get on the boat, we head out to sea, and then what do we do? I'll explain later. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> We head due southeast. So we head southeast, and then what? Do we have to outrun them? We must reach the spot where the mythical harpoon is found while all the other boats try to prevent us from getting there. But we're in the middle of everybody, and we can't catch much wind in our sail. I brought along a secret weapon. In fact, we had it for lunch. It's my wonderful Borek. Huh? Now they're usually around here somewhere. Who's around here? Dolphins. Are you hungry? Eat! <laughs> Smart, huh? You'll have to throw them the Borak, Tilda. Just start launching the Borak into the direction we need to go in. I'll get the rope ready, and with any luck, we'll pull ahead. Uh, I think I get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, beautiful! Yeah. There's more Borak where that came from! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> It's a good thing they appreciate your cooking. <laughs> hey, no fair! That's cheating! The rules say only that oars and motors can't be used. There's nothing in here about dolphins. <laughs> We're finally here. What do you mean here, in the middle of the ocean? It's a thousand meters below us. A thousand meters? But that's not humanly possible. You could never dive that deep on your own. Oh, I don't know. I'm in pretty good shape. <gasps> ben! You incorrect daredevil! Ben! So this is Quaffer, eh? Indeed it is! Deep in the heart of the jungle and simply teeming with no, ah. mosquitoes! And what about the Black Rock? Oh, well I don't remember any Black Rock to be honest. We can get a lay of the land from up high over there. What I wouldn't give to be with Tilda and Ben on an island paradise right now. Relaxing under palm trees and just taking it easy. Bubbles have long since vanished, and it's been over ten minutes. I don't think he survived. Oh, no, no, no! It's Ben! He made it! Amazing! He popped out of the ocean like a geyser! <laughs> Boy, oh boy, what a view! Ah, now let's see if we can find this black rock. So far I see trees and trees and more trees. Take a look from this direction. It must be here somewhere. Hmm. Well... All I see are rows of trees. There's no black... Ah. Oh. And they're teeny weeny trees, too. That's because you're looking through the wrong end. 
You must have made a mistake. Do you know where we are? I think we're in Quaffer, unless we took a wrong turn in Albuquerque. Forget it. Back to the drawing board. Oh, let's take a little rest. My feet are killing me. Now see? There's just leafy green stuff here. Let's get some pistachio nuts. I'm getting hungry. Not until we find the mm -hmm. black... Oh. Huh? Oh, oh, it's here! It's here right under our nose, the Black Rock! Thank you, Professor, I knew I could count on you! Did he mention anything about how we're supposed to crack it open to get to the potion? Well, I'm sure there must be a logical way to get inside this big baby. Hmm, I don't see a hole or an opening anywhere on the surface. How do we get it out? Wait a minute, I think I see something. For all the dunes of Rimal, there's a tiny crack right here on the top. This has got to be the right spot. Now, let's see. I always make sure to carry a little of this stuff in case of an emergency. Excellent. Now, I just need a little bit of, um... You need some kind of potion? I don't know what you mean, but I never said anything about a potion. This is just simple gunpowder. Ah! Ah! Like the cannon fire at the Battle of the Nile, it's music to my ears. That should do the trick. Now all we have to do is find the potion in the rubble. Huh. Ah, here it is. Come here, you spectacular potion, you. This must be the instruction manual. Oh. The last black hole will open here? When? When you give me a kiss inspired by true love, not just a kiss born out of infatuation, but a kiss made out of pure, everlasting love. I don't understand why the black hole still hasn't opened after you told me you loved me and we kissed. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just nervous. Falling in love is such a huge life-changing event and it can be- No more excuses, Farad. I have to hand it to you. You're an excellent liar. But to think <laughs> that you would deceive me like <gasps> this? Well, I am not someone to be trifled with. It seems to be a potion of unprecedented power. Apparently, I'm supposed to pour this potion on the piece of parchment paper in order for it to work. But something Professor Aladdin wrote here puzzles me. He writes, the effects you get will be something you cannot see. Now, what in the name of hot sands do you think he meant by that? Why don't you just pour it? You're absolutely correct. If that's what the professor wants me to do, then that's what I'll do. Red hot sands, I've never seen anything like it! <gasps> There's one last instruction written on this parchment. It says now you have what you need. Complete the mission. Your deception has made me even more powerful. Your lies give me strength. Layla, wait, you're making a mistake. Listen to me. Uh, <sighs> Layla! Layla! <sighs> Enough, Barat! I'm willing to pay any price if it means spending an eternity with you. It's no use, Farat. If you think these little games will- Shh, shh, shh. Look into my eyes and you will know that my love for you is real. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> Forgive me for ever doubting you, Farad. Darling. We'll be together forever. <laughs> yes, Layla, forever. Red Hot Sands, that was quite a spectacle, wasn't it? For the life of me, I still have no idea what effect this potion has had. Hello! Huh? Well, what do you know? I'd say our luck has taken a definite turn. Fire!